Hi, this is Ranga Reddy from SP Software. <coughs> now I will be concentrating on component testing part. <coughs> so this is a component test node and I have a source file UMTS code which converts uh, which do certain uh, operations for strings. This code in it is the function under test that we are going to demonstrate now. Uh, now basically this function performs like um, uh, reversing the st uh, string and counting how many numbers are there. So this is one more file I have my script file. This is a script file. If I remove all commented lines, the grayish lines are commented. Right. Yeah, now we have one service block this is a service block for code in it where I have only this is a test case and I have one more test case and I have another service block ok now what we do is we can select the test cases when you are right click on test select you have service uh, blocks for code in it, decode in it, code string, decode string. All these are scenarios for uh, each function. So see, I have uh, one function for code in it and one more function in this decode in it. And another one is code string. or decode string ok these are the various functions in this file so accordingly this RTRT when you are creating the component test node it will create the service block for each uh, function so I can select which function or uh, I need to test so I remove all these things if you expand this you can also select which one you want to test ok now for the time being I can select these two test cases click close now if you look at how the test case is been written so I have a variable global variable x with some value 0 and buffer returns 1 0 ok so one is for uh, how many number of character we are sending this zero is only one character so it is one and reversing zero gives only zero and in another test case I initialized x with 34 this digits are two so you can see two digits and when you reverse it it gives 4 3 instead of 3 4 it gives 4 3 right so this is the way this function works so now let's see after executing this how it works now I am doing uh, I am building this uh, test node right click say rebuild now it is getting compiled and linked so got execution execution of these two test cases let me minimize this now we have a clear picture right code in it now code in it from it is having two test cases and if you look at in the test report as test you can see this test case one is 
status is failed test case 1 status is failed why because we expected this should come from this but we received only i0 whereas uh, let us see the what about test case 2 test case 2 is paused oh a value we expected 243 we got 243 right where is the bug so that means there is a bug inside okay let's look into the code okay this is code in it what we tested so let's checking ptr what is ptr ptr is buffer buffer what we are supplying is a zero a point is zero okay now what i do is if x value is not equals to zero and this is a condition but if x value is 0 there is no condition so let me open this let me add some more code for this which can take care of if x equals to 0 ok now save this file rebuild it closing this test report and open this ok now we got this it's done let me see test report yeah now it's working right ok so this is the way it can work So in the same way you can add some more test cases like copy this one and paste below another test case you can paste here and write some more scenarios to reach your 100% code coverage. Let us see the code coverage. Yeah, this is the code coverage for this particular function. Yes ok ok fine thank you now in next session we will be uh, looking at the advanced features how to write the test cases for structures pointers strings and how to run the test cases in loops and how to take the inputs from a in file so instead of writing these values in the test script, we can directly pull the values from a file that is in comma separated value. Okay, right.